Well, I'd like for you to join me in an experiment with copying Morse code with different audio waveforms. I'm going to be using uh, the sine wave, the square wave, and the sawtooth wave. And I would like to uh, play some pre-recorded Morse code through a speaker using each waveform and just let you listen to what it sounds like and at different speeds and I would like your input down below and just tell me what you think if you think one waveform sounds better than the other and is easier to copy just let me know now obviously the sine wave has a more pure and a more pleasing sound. But is it the best way to send and receive Morse code? The square wave, the, the ramp up and the decay are very abrupt and quick. <clears throat> when I hit the key, it's instantaneous audio and it stays that way all the way you know through the entire cycle the sine wave is gradual the um, sawtooth wave is uh, kind of a combination of both but anyway listen to it and see if you can copy faster with one or the other i'm not really all that interested in how pretty they sound because i know square waves are um, well they're sort of like a electric guitar. Sometimes they don't sound all that good. But that's not our goal here. So anyway, first of all, I've got a generator set up here that's capable of putting out all three waves. Matter of fact, it'll put out about a hundred different wave shapes. And I'm keying that with my computer uh, to, to send the code. And uh, it's being amplified and uh, through this little speaker amplifier here. And this is my microphone. And um, the scope will show us the waveform. And you'll see that all three waves are exactly the same amplitude. Now, some will sound louder or weaker than others. But that is just uh, the characteristics of the wave. For instance, a... Uh, a square wave will be louder because it has a, I guess, a longer duty cycle. And uh, if, you, if you want to equalize that, the best thing for you to do would just control your volume on your computer. Turn it down if it's too loud. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and record these all at the same audio level. So let's see. First of all... Um, let me show you what they sound like. Um, here's a sine wave. Let me get that kind of synced in. You can see it on the scope here. Um, anyway, um, there you are. There's a sine wave. Um, Here's the square wave, and um, there is the sawtooth. And of course, mostly what you're going to hear in your receiver when you're listening to CW is a sine wave. And that's what you're going to hear when you're using your BFO. Okay, so let's begin, and I'm going to paste uh, a little bit of code in here, and this is at 15 words a minute using the sine wave.
Okay, and now we're going to switch over to the square wave. And uh, let's play the same thing and see if you can copy any better. Okay, and last of all, the sawtooth. Now, let's go back to the sine wave. And let's play our code back at uh, 30. All right, uh, 30 words per minute. And um, let's get some different text here. Let me clip out something here out of the computer and paste it in. All right, we're a sine wave and we're at 30 words per minute. Let's go to the square wave. Same text, 30 words per minute. Okay, now let's uh, switch to the sawtooth. Same text, 30 words per minute, sawtooth. Okay, let's go back to the sign. And let's turn our speed up. Now to um, 50, 50 words per minute. 
and let us um, copy um, some more text. And we're going to play it back. 50 words per minute, sine wave. Okay, and now let's go to the square wave. Same text, 50 words a minute. And finally, the sawtooth. Same text, 50 words a minute. Okay, now, one more thing I want to try, and that is to use a bug, and everybody complains about how the dots are too fast and so forth, but here, as you can see, I've got several keys here, and that red paddle sticking out, that's my bug, and I'm going to send with it. I'm going to use all three different waves here, and uh, let us switch to the... Sign wave first and um, use the bug. Okay, of course you get all the imperfections doing it manually, but uh, that's what it sounds like. And now let's switch over to the square. Same thing here, same text. Yeah, okay, and then um, I guess we'll go to the uh, sawtooth wave next. And place some of that text here on the bug. Okay, I think I made it a, a little bit longer that time. To me, I kind of like I kind of like the sawtooth the way it sounds. I don't know if it's any better as far as copy goes. Uh, the square wave is a little bit annoying, but uh, boy, everything sounds you know really distinct and clear cut, at least to me. Uh, the sine wave, I it's a pleasing sound. I could uh, probably read a book while it's going and, and miss everything. But uh, anyhow, it's just my opinion. So uh, 
put your opinion down here and let me know what you think about the uh, three different sine waves and uh, we'll see which one you like the best. Thanks for uh, participating in my little experiment here in 73.